It is presentation day. I have been working on this since I found out that I got this internship and I am really stoked to kill it. Oh, um, Nathan is with me. Uh, Andrew stayed home. He's working on something. I don't know. I wanted to do this one on my own. thought mine was good. I think I hate it here. It's just, it's so harsh and it... Pretty brutal, huh? Yeah. I, uh, I can... Listen. Hey, uh, can you uh, send him off. Sure. So listen, I admit I had my doubts about you when you first came in here with the boss's son, but yours was the least bad presentation, kind of. I mean, he hated yours the least. No, you know, I definitely. know, but I mean, I just think that it's a good jumping off point, and I really, really want to focus in on that. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to, like, refocus, too. Are, are you okay? Oh, man, I... I'm sorry, yeah, um, it's just, uh... I need this job, and I need to keep the insurance, and I need to keep my dad on it because he's... Sorry, I, uh... You don't care. No, I do. Your dad is... Is he okay? Not, uh, really. It was so hard to convince everyone that he's a dependent, you know? And, uh, I'm walking on eggshells every time I come into the office and, and some of the things my bosses are saying. God, I really need this job. So, we'll, uh, we'll use your presentation, all right? And, and we'll really clean it up, make sure this whole thing doesn't come crashing down around us. Just... Email me all of your research, and I'll, I'll, I'll fire back some notes, okay? Okay. You heard all that, didn't you? I mean, Mr. Pritchard doesn't know, right? Like, he can't know because then he'd do something. Is that boy gonna sit down? Uh, Nathan? Uh, no, he's... You know, I don't even know anymore, but he's, uh... He's not gonna join us. So, Alice, how's Crestview? You think you're learning enough about office life to convince my son to go into business? Dad, I am not going into publishing. Oh, not publishing? Yeah, it's a dying field. You know I meant the firm. Dad, I'm not enjoying No, you're wasting your time with that film business. People expect you to step up and be something when you're a Pritchard. See if you can pique his interest in an office job. But not publishing? Look, no one reads anymore. Books, magazines, newspapers. What about Crestview? I mean, you don't, don't you own a publishing house? Well, I do, but just between us, I expect that entire office to go under within a month, two. Why don't you hire a bunch of people to fix it? Well, I believe in giving a venture a little time first. 
I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. We call it a write-off come tax time. That's a trick you're going to learn when you join the firm. What happens to everybody working there? Well, they find another job. It's not about people, Alice. It's business. I've been doing this for many years. I've been very successful for a very long time, and I know what works and what doesn't work, and I know when it's time for an idea to die, and that's when you let people go. The decision has nothing to do with how much you might like your staff. Okay. What about their paychecks and their insurance? Well, that's what severance is for, and we don't pay insurance. We can pay the insurance fine because it's too expensive to offer the insurance itself. That's something you drought already. Yeah, it was a real highlight of dinner conversations in 2010. How long does severance last? Usually until I get another job. Exactly. Excuse me. Not now. Confessional. <laughs> 